Hello and welcome to this week's edition of BS with AJ. This week I'm going to be showing you how to make this Native American style flute at a PVC pipe in the key of G. Stick around. Here's a few things you're going to need for this project. You're going to need an 18 inch piece of Schedule 40 3 quarter inch PVC pipe, a needle file set, and a flat file. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is make a center mark. So we're going to use a piece of plywood here and we're going to butt our PVC pipe up against it. And what we're going to do is take a pen or a marker and just run right along the edge here. Alright, and there's our center mark that we're going to be working off of. Alright, our next step is to go ahead and mark a line at an inch and seven eighths from this end and then three and a half. This is going to be where our sound is made. Alright, now we're going to take our flat file and we're going to keep it flat and we're going to file in between the two lines that we just marked. We want to keep filing it down flat until we have a, a little less than half an inch, probably about seven sixteenths would be great. Alright, now what we're going to do is go ahead and mark our lines for our holes. We're going to mark the first one at two and a quarter inches, and we're going to mark the second one at three inches. The first hole is going to be the hole that the air comes out of when we're blowing in. And the second hole is going to be the air that goes back into it. Alright, now we're going to take a 3 16 inch drill bit and drill these two holes out. All right, now that I've got my 3 16 holes drilled here, uh, what we did now, we marked out a square. It's gonna be 3 16 by 3 8 and we're gonna go ahead and take our small file set here and finish cutting out the rest of these two holes. Alright, now what we're going to do is take our small file here and file the inside of this part right here at about a 45 degree angle. Alright, our next step, we're going to go ahead and get a measurement between these two holes. It looks like it's a little under a half inch. So what we're going to do is take a cork from a wine bottle and we're going to cut it down to that size. I've already got it done right here and I'm going to show you what to do next. Alright, now what we're going to do is take this cork and push it in the pipe here in, right in between the center of these. So that way whenever you blow in here the air has to come out this hole and we're going to make a little guard that's going to make the air go back into this hole here in just a minute. Alright, next I took a piece of one inch PVC and I cut it about an inch and a half long. We're going to cut a slit down in here in just a minute so we can use it to direct our airflow. Alright, now we're going to take our piece that we just cut, as you can see, it's got that little bit of play in it, and we're going to slip it over until it's real close to our hole here. Alright, now to tune this, what you're going to need to do is cut off the far end, the opposite end of where your noise is being made, just like an eighth inch at a time until you get to the note you're trying to reach. In this case, I'm trying to get to the G4, if you can see it here. And we're getting pretty close. When you get really close like this, you're going to want to take a file and just kind of work it back and forth just a little at a time. 
A little bit goes a long way, so you don't want to do it too much. call that good that's pretty close all right now to find our finger holes we're going to a website called na fluto mat and i'll put the link in the description for you and basically the only thing that i filled out in here is right here the sound chamber perimeter and uh, this is three quarter inch pipe but it's actually 25 30 seconds or 0.7812 inches so once you put that in there you'll hit this calculate button right here which i've already done and then it's going to bring you this chart right here. And you want to make sure that you pick the key that you want. And the way that we're, the, ours is tuned to G4. So we put that in and we put calculate in. And it's going to give us all different numbers for our, the hole size for each one of our finger holes. Now you can adjust this. What I did was I made it 5 16 inches for all my holes. That way I'm just drilling one size hole. So I put one in and put .3125 in each one of these and hit calculate again and it's going to show you where to place all your uh, finger your finger holes there it'll show you from the very end of the pipe is 4.077 inches and then 5.469 inches and I know that may not make sense to you so the easiest way to figure this out you're going to round to the nearest sixteenth so we're going to put 0 .077 and then multiply it by sixteen and that'll tell you how many sixteenths so it'll be four and well, I don't have a calculator here, but I'll figure it up for you, and I'll write down all, the, all this real quick. All right, now I've already marked out our six holes. The first hole is at four and a sixteenth. The next is at five and seven sixteenths. Six and thirteen sixteenths. Seven and five eighths. Eight and three quarter. And nine and five eighths. Now we're going to take our five sixteenths inch drill bit, and we're going to drill each one of these holes real quick. final product. Let's give it a try and see how it sounds. Sounds pretty good. Hope you enjoyed this week's project. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and support us on Patreon. The link's down in the description. It's going to help us fund better, bigger, and better projects, pretty much. Uh, see you next week, man.